Giza Plateau, regular tours versus archaeological paths tours. A chance to visit the Giza Plateau usually comes only once in a lifetime. So it's important that your experience of Egypt's most iconic site is complete and extraordinary. This video will show you how you can explore the world's most amazing archaeological site in two completely different ways. Either on typical tours run by regular tour companies or on exclusive tours with special access organized by Archaeological Paths. See how much of a difference it really makes. The Giza Plateau, the place where four and a half thousand years ago, the pyramids of Khafre, Menkura, and the biggest and most famous of all, Khufu, were built to endure Pharaoh's eternity. It is also a home to the Great Sphinx, the most recognizable monument on Earth. For decades, the Giza Plateau has been invaded by millions of tourists each year, making it one of the most famous travel destinations on our planet. However, there is a huge difference on how you can experience this place, and it all depends on the tour company you choose to travel with. You can be either one of the many millions of people visiting Egypt each year who see the Great Pyramids and the Great Sphinx with hundreds of other people around, or you can be provided with an exclusive VIP access granted to the guests of Archaeological Paths. It will allow you to explore the entire Giza Plateau completely in private, outside of regular opening hours. As if it weren't surreal enough, you will have a chance to be starstruck by the most famous archaeologist in the world, Dr. Zahi Hawass, who joins your group while you are there. But let's start from the beginning. All typical tour groups arrive at the Giza Plateau before noon, when a number of buses, each packed with tourists, maneuvers their way into an already crowded parking lot. Later, all visitors have to patiently wait in lines to pass the ticket office. And only then are they finally allowed to enter the plateau. On the other hand, during Archaeological Paths exclusive tours, the only companion on your way to the Giza Pyramids is Egypt's rising sun. Since the guests of Archaeological Paths are provided with a VIP access to all major archaeological sites, they are the only ones passing through the Giza Plateau Gate, which opens its wings for their arrival. No crowds no other tourists around. It sounds incredible, doesn't it? A bus of Archaeological Paths guests approaches the Pyramid of Khufu where, during standard opening hours, there are always several dozen buses parked nearby and hundreds of tourists waiting impatiently for their turn to enter the pyramid. They can probably see most of the pyramid's interiors, but can they tell that they have really experienced the last wonder of the ancient world? The guests of archaeological paths have a totally different encounter with the place believed to be Pharaoh's gateway into another world. After getting off the bus, they head towards the pyramid completely alone, especially for them the director of the Giza Plateau shows up on the site earlier to open the pyramid's door. Then, all the guests access the pyramid privately, making it an enjoyable and royalty-style visit. The fact that our group enters the site early in the morning, when the sun just rises over the horizon, also means that the conditions inside the pyramid are much more comfortable for sightseeing. During the entire visit, our guests are accompanied by their experienced Egyptologist, who shares with them all the secrets of the pyramid. You may ask, what's so special about having a tour guide there with us? It is truly unprecedented, as during regular opening hours and on standard tours, the guides are not allowed to access the pyramid with the group. On top of accessing the pyramid privately, 
All the guests of archaeological paths can also enter two additional chambers inside the pyramid, which are closed to the public. The Queens and the Subterranean Chambers. By stepping on the grounds where only few have had the chance to stand on throughout all the years of our civilization, they can fully grasp the scale of this unreal adventure. Other tourists can only visit the King's Chamber. As you can see, what others call limits, archaeological paths calls an exclusive access. Unbelievably, this is not the only highlight of the day, as later you set off for the Great Sphinx. While during the standard opening hours, there are many buses passing you by on the way to the site. On the Archaeological Paths Tours, the entire plateau is all to yourself. Upon arrival at the Great Sphinx enclosure, Archaeological Paths guests do something absolutely extraordinary, something standard tour groups can only dream of. While regular tourists are allowed to see the Sphinx only from a distant terrace, the guests of Archaeological Paths are invited to the area through the gate which is being opened only for them, the Great Sphinx Enclosure. To admire the greatest monument of the ancient world, our guests are provided with a special access between the paws of the Great Sphinx, a place unavailable to others. This once-in-a-lifetime chance is not the only experience that awaits you there. Someone special will accompany you in a face-to-face -face encounter with this lion-like creature. A man who for over 20 years held the keys to all archaeological sites in Egypt. The former Minister of Antiquities in Egypt. And now, undoubtedly, the most famous archaeologist in the world, Dr. Zahi Hawass. It may be hard to comprehend that while other visitors can see the Great Sphinx for only five minutes and from a distance, you have over an hour to immerse yourself in the magic of the Sphinx by listening to Dr. Hawass's captivating stories and first-hand accounts of recent discoveries made by him personally. After the lecture, each of our guests has a chance to take a picture worth a million dollars. Imagine yourself between the paws of the Great Sphinx with the living legend of archaeology, Dr. Zahi Hawass. The stuff dreams are made of. If you think your trip is coming to an end, think again. For the next couple of hours, you will be able to further explore the entire Giza Plateau, making it more than a half-day visit. Standard tour groups spend only about an hour to an hour and a half there. Ask yourself, do you want to swing through the Giza Plateau? Or do you want to experience Egypt's most famous ancient monuments like a true pharaoh? This is the difference between a standard sightseeing and real experience of this magical place. And this is only one out of many days of your journey across Egypt. During your entire time spent with archaeological paths, you are treated like a VIP every step of the way. You will meet with Dr. Mustafa Waziri, Egypt's head of antiquities, and gain insight into present-day archaeology. You will meet Madame Jahan Sadat, Egypt's former first lady and wife of Egypt's late president, Anwar El Sadat, in her presidential residence. All of that awaits you in Egypt only with archaeological paths. It is simply the way to discover the land of the pharaohs. Don't just see Egypt, but experience it. With archaeological paths, it is possible.